Coming up on MHS One, we see if our students and staff are as brave as they seem, we learn about our school's very own Winter Guard, if teachers tell us their opinions on virtual learning, and some of our staff's cutest couples compete in some spooky Halloween games. And that's all coming up on MHS let's One. Go, let's go. Good morning, McKinney High School. Today is Friday, October 30th. I'm Rocco Pisano, that was Chloe Tyson, and you're watching MHS One. Two couples, the Chins and the Watsons, go head to head in some Halloween themed competitions. Who will win? Let's find out. Want to learn more about Winter Guard? Alex Knight has put together a video to show us what it's all about. Winter Guard is uh, what we in the activity like to call the sport of the arts. Um, we create uh, an indoor competitive production that combines um, dance fundamentals, so lyrical and contemporary dance, uh, as well as spinning, tossing, and otherwise manipulating uh, rifles, flags, and sabers. We do about four things. Okay. So first, we spin equipment, and the equipment we spin is a lag. Another equipment we spin is saber, and it kind of looks like a sword, but it doesn't really hurt. And then we spin rifle, and then it kind of looks like a gun. It's not really, I promise. And it's a piece of wood. We do a lot of uh, tossing our equipment, so throwing it really high in the air. Um, and while it's in the air, we have the opportunity to do some cool things. We can turn under it. We can do a somersault under uh, a toss. Uh, we can also catch them in cool ways. We can catch behind the back, things like that. Um, if you're new to Color Guard, you can expect, um, I guess, a little bit of a learning curve. Um, you need no experience whatsoever in dance or Color Guard to join. Um, but it isn't necessarily natural to your body. So it'll take you maybe a month or so to feel comfortable. And then after that, uh, what's really cool is you're just constantly learning new things. <laughs> This year has been a challenge for all of us students, but it's especially been a challenge for our teachers. Christopher Larius and Kevin Young put together a story to share our teachers' opinions on virtual learning. Due to 
to the pandemic, MIC now offers virtual and face-to-face -face learning, challenging our teachers. It's definitely a lot easier to deal with the regular kids because I actually see them, whereas the Zoom kids, they're just black squares with a letter because they don't actually turn their camera on. For me, for Zoom has been quite a challenge. I use a webcam that connected to my board and then you can hear everything now. Well, it's a challenge, something I've never done before. I'm also glad that kids get to come in person. It feels a little more normal. You know, the two big worries, of course, of the pandemic stuff, but also the mental health. Kids are being thrown into a whole new ball game and it, it's hard. We're in a no-win situation. Don't do school and now, well, it's mental health that's down the drain. We're in school and we're worried about COVID health and we have all the tracking and tracing of different people and like anything we do isn't going to answer the problem and fix it all. We just have to deal. Teachers have varying opinions over how effective teaching has been so far this school year. We're working really hard and I think they're doing a really good job of doing everything. But in the beginning, none of us really knew what we were doing. Not gonna lie to you. If I could do it better, if I had the choice to choose, I would have teachers that only taught online line kids and teachers that only taught kids face to face. When I start interacting with kids in the class, and then all of a sudden, sometimes I'll hear a kid yell, "Coach!" from the computer, and I forget, "Oh, yeah, I got kids over there too." So, to online kids, it is much more challenging trying to get quality work out of them and give quality instruction to them. Some of the kids that are on there are laying down on the floor, then they don't turn things in. They're like half listening, half not, because many of them don't have anybody at home with them right now, so they're just kind of on their own to do school. I think kids that want to work, work. Whether you are online or in person, if you are determined to do well in school, you're going to put in the effort and you're going to do well and not care about your learning, then yeah, you're going to do that. This is Kevin Young and Christopher Larius reporting for MHS1. To get us in the Halloween spirit, Isaiah Sandoval and Alex Robbins take a few students and staff through one night of Five Nights at Freddy's. Let's see how they do. This is Five Nights at Freddy's. It's a horror game from 2015 that had a massive following on the internet. The goal is to survive till 6 a.m. for five nights while trying not to let the animatronic characters get into your office. If they do, it's game over. We have three students and one AP take on the challenge to survive just one night. Will they be able to stow their fear and conquer the night, or will Freddy and the gang be having them as pizza? Let's see. Uh... <laughs> I don't know about this one, Chief. Hello? Oh, hello? Uh, I wanted to record a message for you. <laughs> My phone buzzed and it freaked me out. Your first night. Um, I actually yeah, I'm like shaking right now. Like, yes. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> they'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without Aww. his costume. Of course they will. Oh, look, I guess that means. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Alright, okay, okay, okay. I want to honk his nose. It's funny. Oh, I did it! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah, they don't tell you these things. What is that? What is the thing gonna jump out? <laughs> I don't know. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh, she's right there! <laughs> Dude, I'm so scared. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Why is that 14%? Mm. No, no. Game man, it's creeping me out. No, no. Oh, mm -mm. <laughs> How do I? Yeah, unfortunately, guys. Uh, I was hoping it would be a little scarier than that, but 
It wasn't, so sorry if I'm not your guy. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, oh I, I saw you. This just okay. Yeah, I can't close the door. Just uh. what is that? Why, why is he here? Why, oh my god! Oh my gosh! Well, that's all we have for you today, Lions. Please remember to follow us on Twitter at Mainstream News and at Instagram at MHS Mainstream. And remember, if it's news... And it's not McKinney High School, it's, it's MHS, MHS 1. one.